Hi, I'm Tim Ehlers, District Sales Manager and Product Trainer for the Crosby Group, and welcome to this edition of our Ask the Expert podcast series. In today's episode, we're going to answer a question that came in from two different gentlemen who joined our Magnet Training WebEx. So the question that they asked regards using two lifting magnets, and if we do that, do, can we use a double leg chain sling? When lifting with a lifting magnet, we may encounter loads that are too long to lift with one magnet. We can determine the maximum load dimensions by consulting the manufacturer of our lifting magnet. In this case, I'm using a Crosby Magnex 300 lifting magnet. So I'm checking the load chart found in the owner's manual. The weight and load dimensions are impacted by the thickness of the load. These dimension limits are important because a sagging load is more likely to peel off the magnet than a non-sagging load is. Two magnets may be necessary to stabilize a long flexible load. When using two magnets, a two-legged sling may seem like a logical choice to connect our magnets. However, this is not a good choice and I'll show you why. A lifting magnet like this Magnex 300 is designed for horizontal loading only, which means the slings connected to the magnet must be within five degrees of vertical. Do not use magnets with your slings outside of this angle of loading. When using two magnets for a lift, a spreader beam like this may be necessary to keep our magnets horizontal and our sling legs connected vertical as you see here. Thank you both for that great question, and thanks for joining us on today's episode of our Ask the Expert podcast series, and we hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.